Hey guys, Legal Lockpicker here. Welcome to today's episode. This is not going to be your typical uh, pick it and stick it episode here. Instead, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you these four locks that I've just received recently. And I'm going to give one of these locks away. And in order to get one of these locks, all you have to do is be a subscriber, like the video, and you know the normal things that you have to do to share. And then once you've finished sharing and all that stuff, I'm going to go down and pick a comment. And whoever leaves the comment of why they would like that specific or particular lock the best, that's going to be the comment I draw from. And of course, you're going to get that lock. So, these are brand new. I just got them. Obviously, they're in used condition, but I mean, brand new to the channel here. And I'm really glad that I can do stuff like this for you guys, especially when uh, the locks are so unique. All four of these locks are very unique in their own right. They're not just your typical uh, pin and tumbler locks. Uh, this Brinks right here, for instance, is a 625 series, and this is what I would consider to be a pretty basic lock. Key, regular pin and tumbler lock, you know, you can rekey it, and all that stuff. That's what I would consider a normal lock, or your basic 1100 series, or your basic Mako with uh, the legal lock picker logo. Anyway, those are what you consider basic locks. Um, right here from left to right, I have, this is very unique, because unique to me, I don't see many of these floating around. Uh, this is a Yale uh, dual cylinder, no it's not, a, it's a dual keyway. Uh, I did manage to pick both of them, unfortunately uh, when I was setting up I kind of rolled it the wrong way and I set one of them. Uh, but you can see it's very unique here because the gears in the back, which means whichever one works, spins these gears in the back. And I'll get more into depth um, in the next coming weeks about these before I send out the winner his lock. But you'll have a chance to see them. The rubber band here is just to hold up the faceplate. I just wanted to keep them together. Uh, if you notice anything about this Yale here, uh, it, it's pretty difficult to pick. And I can't find a key blank. So if you guys have any blanks or know where I can get the blanks for these... Um, let me know because I'd really appreciate that and be able to send it to somebody with with a key. That would be great. So if you do have the blank for that, let me know. Uh, the only other bicentric lock I could find besides the yell here, oops, excuse me, is a quick set lock. It's a quick set smart key, dual custody lock. You can see that. It's well dual custody. It's got the uh, owner and then you've got the renter's key. So it's pretty cool in the way that they do it. Uh, you can see that one key turns both gears. It's very unique. But that's why I like the Yale, because it's an actual uh, pin and tumbler, and the other one's not. But again, if you have a blank, let me know about that. Uh, the second one from left to right um, is I put a Cobra shell on it, but that is the way that you'll get it, is this hardened uh, Cobra lock here. But what's unique about it is the keyway. That's what is unique about number two. Number two, you can see, has uh, it's got that special keyway. It's not a pin and tumbler, and this is the key. So once you push down this key in here, uh, each each one of these bars here, excuse me, each one of these little bars here gets pushed down to a certain length so once the key is inserted it pushes it down just like a tubular lock would be it pushes the pin down to a certain length and then once all the pins are engaged at that length you turn it clockwise and you're able to turn the lock here as you can see I did put it in a shell so that way you had something to to work with here so that's how that one works Number three here. Oh, this is a beauty. Oh, it's been forever since I've been able to get my hands on one of these. I've looked, and they're very expensive and very hard to find. I think there's only one person on eBay that I know that sells the locks like this. 
Um, if you've seen any of Lock Noob's videos, he does do one of these. I, 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 I think they're called Van Locks is what they call them on eBay. They're Van Lock Corporation or something. Uh, but the basic idea here is just like the other lock, uh, just like lock number two, um, you can see that each one of these sticks out a certain distance. And what you do is you insert the key and it pushes down on each one of these pins a certain way and then once they're all pushed down then it enables you to activate the activate the cylinder inside see once you turn it it's unlocked and now we've got an unlock here so that's another really exciting lock that I can't wait to show you guys in detail and finally lock number four is a buy lock <laughs> oh that's gonna be great in ten years uh, this is a buy lock, and if you're not familiar with buy locks, they come with two rows of pins. Uh, then this is, I guess, one of the older version. I'm not sure if the 636 buy lock is the actual name of this type of cam lock, or if it's just the number for the key. But you can see the patent number on the bottom of the key as well if you look closely. But buy locks are unique in their own right because they do have two lines of pins and this is the actual buy lock itself uh, which means that it's not the uh, knockoff that some other uh, distributors have out there where the keys and the pins are very loose and you can easily just rake them open and I'm not sure if this is like that but once I get to picking we'll be able to find that out so now that you guys have seen the four locks available here you are going to get to tell me which one you want and why so make sure you tell me why give me a, a good reason for it and and I'll give you that one out and of course the runner-up will get a legal lock picker legal lock picker logo pad lock so the first prize winner will get one of these and the second prize will get a Mako legal lock picker logo pad lock Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to give it a like. And if you're not subscribed already, please do. Because information is power. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Cheers.